everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR about my book haul and let's get going so I have collected a lot of books recently and I'm ready to share it so yeah, book is Bands of Thieves by Mary Pearson and I finally got the first book it's actually my second book lying over here so I really thought that was the first one, but this ended up being the first one. So, my bad. I didn't do the research properly. The following Cassie, who was a spy for the Queen, and is set out to find an elusive captain who murdered thousands, believed to be hiding in Hell's Mouth, which just so happens to be the city right to be the city under Jesus' new rule. Things don't quite go quite as planned, though the two are kidnapped by labor hunters and must cooperate with one another to escape as they are literally chained together so that sucks for them and of course everything goes more complicated as they spend more time together and the feelings for one another grow so that sounds really interesting and I'm excited for it my next book is The Witch's Complete Guide to Strategy by Ellie Swile I actually got this from line of ritual and it's just about all your astrology so you can see what you know about the sun moon and rising about the zodiac sign and all that cool stuff the next book is the reading list by sarah nisha adams and we're following Renal Mokesh lives a quiet life in West London where he shops every Wednesday, goes to a temple, and worries about his granddaughter Priya, who hides in her room all day reading. I can totally relate to that. Alicia is a bright but anxious teenager working together at a local library where she discovers a forgotten slip of paper in the back of the killer mockingbird. It contains a list of novels she's never heard of before. In truth, she decides to read every book on the list. As each story gives up its magic, the books transfer Alicia away from the painful realities she's facing at home. When Mukesh arrives at the library, desperate to forge her connection with his book from daughter, Alicia wonders if the books might be a lifetime for him too. The list begins to circulate in the community. New readers discover how fiction can eliminate so much about joy and sorrow in real life. So, it sounds really interesting. My next book is The Heart of the Sun Warrior by Su Lin Tan. It is a sequel and the final of Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I have read. I didn't really like it, but I had some issues with it. So, this is a sequel where we're following Xing Ying, the daughter of Shang Yi, and the mortal Akai Hu Yi, and she battles a great new threat to the realm. So, I'm excited. Got a manga. Ta -da. I also like to read manga as well. And that is the Apothecary Apothecary, well, Diaries by Nat Natsu Huyung Huyga. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. So we're from Mao Mao, a young woman trained in the art of herbal medicine, is forced to work as a wood summit in the in the palace. Though she yearns for life outside its perfume halls, she is a long for life or treasury. Who wants to break a curse affecting the perennial hairs? Mel Mel attracts the attention of the beautiful Jinshi and is promoted to attend food taster. The Jinshi has other plans for the earnest while apothecary, and soon Mel Mel is back to brewing potions and solving mysteries. So, it sounds exciting. But well, I actually haven't gotten that package out yet. And we that right now. Psych so sequel to a magic state in prison. Is this a sequel? No, I'm just kidding. This is not the sequel. I don't think it is. But this one, Junie. Junie Island. And I think this is a portion of our tea and magic. So for Ning, the only thing worse than losing her mother is knowing that it's her own fault. She was the one who unknowingly blew the poison that poison tea that killed her mother, the poison tea that now threatens to also take her sister Shu. When Ning hears a competition to find the kingdom's greatest Shinon Long, she 
masters of the ancient and mag magical art of tea making, she travels to an imperial city to compete. The winner will receive a favor from the princess, which may be Link's only chance to save her sister's life. But between the backstabbing competitors, the bloody court politics, and the mysterious and handsome boy, with a shocking secret, of course, Ning might actually be in all one in more danger. So I'm excited to read this. So I'm reading Link's Edge by Linda Kutstein. I have no idea what it's about, but the following Violetta Grace Link will do anything to protect her young and brother Aaron. Plagued by nightmares, he possesses forbidden black magic as well as from his weakness as shadows. When a notorious woman, Selene, known as the Monster of Lake Lake's Edge, discovers Aileen's magic, led to fears the worst. She is shocked when Rowan instead presents her with Scalfer, refuge at his Lake Edge estate in exchange for Aileen's power. So, I'm excited about this one. Next one is Gods of Sh of Jane and Shadow by Celia Moreno Gracia. So I think this is like Celtic and Holy Book kind of. So the mind god of death sends a young woman on a harrowing life changing journey in this dark fairy tale inspired by Mexican folklore. So yeah, it's about Mexican mythology. It's gonna sound really cool. And my second book, well, not second, but you know what I mean. My next book is. Daughters of the Dawn by Selena and Sasha now Nanra. So this is the sequel to Sisters of the Snakes. I'm not sure if this is the finale, but an ancient enemy arises and eternal night moves, and a dark prophecy foretells an impossible choice in which only one sister will be left standing. So I hope it clears up from the first book because I've had way too much like fan fiction. So especially the way how it ended with the final battle and the enemy, it was just so flat. But I hope this one is gonna be okay. Next book is Wish Twist by Nadine Blandes and it sounds so good because we're following Go, which I don't remember much, and she has the ability to have her tears turned to wishes, so whatever you want, her wishes will be able to grant it. But of course, she has to survive, I mean, always must must hard in her heart to keep herself from crying, even a single tear. So, it's more like people want her powers for bad use. But, um, I am also really excited for this book. We got this for a Christmas present. We have like Secret Santa at workplace. And my Secret Santa knows I like to read. So one of them is Parasite by Hitoshi Iwaki. And I have no idea what it's about. It's my first time hearing it. So they arrive in silence out of dark skies and they fit in first human host and consume them. And they are everywhere. They are parasites. Alien creatures who must invade and take control of human hosts to survive. Once they have infected their victims, they can twist their host bodies into any abnormal shapes they choose. Cranium splitting to a real mouse of sharp teeth, bat like wings erupting from backs, blades tearing through soft hands. But most have chosen to conceal the lethal purposes behind ordinary human faces. No one knows the secret except a Norway high school student, Shinichi and managed to stop the infestation of his body by an alien parasite. Like, can he find a way to warn humanity of the horrors to come? So, it's like a graphic novel, almost. I need to just some of the arts. So, it sounded really interesting, and I hope I will like it. And my other sequence said that she also got me to sleep in the Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. I actually already read this as an audiobook and I really loved it. So, we follow so it's like doing a routine survey mission on an uncolonized planet, came and fight an alien relic. At first, she is a widen, but elation turns to terror when the Asian dust around her begins to move. As war erupts among the stars, Kira is launched into a galaxy spanning on a sea of discovery, of discovery and transformation. First contact is an all what she imagined. 
an immense pressure to the night limit of what it seems to me human. While your camera faces the front that's, that's my bulk. Your camera faces the front forward, earth and, and its colonies stand up on the blink of an annihilation. Now camera might be humanity's greatest and final hope. So, I am real alone this book, so I'm gonna keep it part of my December TVR. So, they found and fortune by Chloe Gong. And we're from Rosalind, who is a spy who. And it's like, four years ago, Rosalind Lang was brought back from the brink of death, but the strange experiment that saved her also stopped her from sleeping and aging and allows her to heal from any mound. In short, Rosalind ca cannot die. Now, desperate for redemption from her traitorous past, uses her abilities as an assassin for her country. So. I really liked Rosalind from these Violet's Delight, which is actually taking place after those events. So I'm really excited, but I might not be able to finish it for my December Teen Yard. Well, it's also a part of December Teen Yard, and it is A Kingdom, Kingdom of the Fiend by Kenny Manskalko. It's a finale of Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy, and I really hope I will like this because I really have mixed feelings from the reviews people are sending in. And so we're following two curses, one prophecy, and a love more powerful than fate. All here on the king and queen of hell. So I'm really hoping I would really, really love this. But um, yeah. Okay, so that's all the books I have for you guys for my book haul. Let me know what you liked and what is your book call if you have any. And please like, comment, and subscribe so that you won't miss every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!